It being six o'clock, I call the February 2020 Town of Clayton Planning Board meeting to order. Uh, we'll do a roll call. I know Mr. Lipscomb will not be here. He's on um, a cruise. <laughs> I wasn't going to announce that part, but... <laughs> Uh, we might might have just seen Mr. Avery. Anyway, um, we will go ahead. Are there any adjustments to the agenda? Okay. The first order of business done this evening will be approval of the minutes. Are there any corrections to the minutes needed? If not, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Madam Chairman, I make a motion to approve as written. Motion to approve by board member Coates. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Powers. Um, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion carries. The next order of business this evening is item 5A. Um, that is new business 2019-168-SP West End Major Site Plan. And we'll now hear from staff. Good evening, Planning Board. Haley Hoag, Planner 2. This request is for a major site plan to develop two commercial buildings on the subject property. In total, that would come out to um, just over 9,000 square feet between the two buildings. The properties, located, or properties are located at the corner of West Main Street and Stalling Street. And they are all zoned highway business, and they're about 1.7 acres. Or... Um, so this is the proposed site plan. Again, there are two buildings being proposed, one that will be facing front or Main Street, and then the other will be facing internally to the site. Um, they equal out to 9,200 square feet in size. They'll consist of retail, office, and restaurant space. The arrangement of those uses hasn't been determined yet, um, but they did arrange their parking and did the parking calcs for different variety of options for what would occupy which space. Um, they are proposing 80 parking spaces total. Most of them are on-site, but they are proposing some off-site parking on Main Street, which you can see on the site plan. There's some parallel parking right here on Main Street. Then they would be utilizing that to meet their parking requirements. They are proposing to add sidewalk on Main Street and portion of Stalling Street. They can't do sidewalk and curbing gutter along the entire portion of Stalling Street because it is in the railroad right away. So the railroad has said no sidewalk, no curb and gutter. Um, so they will be doing what they can for sidewalk and curb and gutter. And then they are providing landscaping as required by the code. Um, they have all their landscaping buffers provided and they are providing um, internal landscaping to meet the 20% requirement. These are the elevations. So the building will be primarily brick with um, some accent features. There will be metal awnings at each entrance. And then this specific elevation is for the larger building that will be facing Main Street. So that clock tower will actually be a decorative feature that will be on the corner of the lot. So when you're driving down Main Street, you can see it coming in. And the, both of the buildings do meet the UDC requirements. They are consistent on all four sides. And this is a view of the property as it currently exists. You can see the railroad tracks on the other side of Stalling Street. This is taken right from the corner of Main Street and Stalling Street. There's a contractor's office right across Stalling Street from this property. The proposed use is consistent with the Comprehensive Plan 2040, which designates the property as downtown residential. It's also consistent with surrounding land uses, and the applicant has addressed approval criteria of the code. And with that, we are recommending approval of the major site plan, and I can answer any questions that you have, and the applicant is here as well to speak. Thank you. Any questions of staff? I have a question. Um, we have downtown, on sites on parking downtown, and one of the concerns I have is the 25 mile an hour speed limit downtown. And I've seen adults and everything else open doors. There's a 35 mile an hour speed limit going by here. Is there any consider has any consideration being done, or how do you would you get the speed limit down to 25 around that area to prevent someone stepping out in front of traffic? And we all know that people that are going 35 are supposed to be, and not they're going faster than that and everything. And that's my only concern about this whole project and. This family has done a great job of everything they've ever done in Clayton. 
But that is that is a concern for me. The Well and Weber Planning Director. Um, so generally with that, as the development in the, in the core of downtown moves closer towards this west end, we're really hoping that after this west end uh, review and if it is approved tonight, that development will kind of spur and come back, take us to the heart of downtown. And when that happens, we can petition NCDOT and ask for a reduction in um, speed, which we can ask them at any point in time. But as the area is redeveloped, um, it definitely is more... Um, more of what we need to ask DOT to reduce that speed limit. But we, we can't ask DOT to reduce speed limits. Thank you. Any other questions for staff? If not, we'll call upon the applicant. <clears throat> Good evening, I'm Donnie Adams, Adams and Hodge Engineer in 314 East Main Street here in Clayton. Um, we're the engineer on this project. The owners, as mentioned, are Hubert and Bonnie Lee, and the architect is Tony Johnson. Um, we're all very excited about this project. I think the site plan, building plan, the whole conceptual plan has come together very nicely. Um, I, I think one of the visions on this, this site, as you can see, the, some, uh, Tony's done an awesome design, and he was guided in, uh, pointed in a direction where um, Mr. and Mrs. Lee, Hubert and Bonnie Lee, wanted to... Uh, wanted it to be when you came in from the west that you knew you came into the town of Clayton they wanted something distinguishable and um and that's where the top, the clock tower comes in at uh and again this this is um there're going to be two buildings out there a restaurant um in a couple of the bays two or three of the bays and then a mixture between office and retail throughout um the site is in compliance with the UDC and again very excited about that but I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys may have Thank you. Any questions of the applicant? Okay, thank you. Uh, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak on this matter? All right, if not, I will turn it over to the board for consideration. My, go ahead. Madam Chair, I move that we approve the approval of this site plan. Excellent. We have a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second by board member Coates. Any other discussion before we vote? Mr. Price? It's, this is a very, very nice looking development, and the town will certainly be proud of having that on the, on the west end of Main Street. I agree. I was going to say as well, I've noticed the other building out that way that they've developed right across the street. It's really improved that entrance to that side of Clayton, and I love to see that. So, excellent. Um, with that in mind, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. All those opposed say no. Motion passes. The next item on the agenda is item 5B. 2020-03-SP Griffles PLC Expansion Major Site Plan. Uh, we'll now hear from staff. Good evening, Madam Chair, members of the Planning Commission. Uh, my name is Jeff Keynes, planner for the town of Clayton. I'm here to present the Griffles PLC Expansion Major Site Plan. Um, it's proposed as a, the request is for a warehouse expansion to one of the existing buildings and to, to modify the site and to expand their parking lot. Uh, as you can tell by the map, it's just off of business 70. Uh, the access point is on Whispering Winds going towards the northeast. The property is about, about 48 acres in size and is currently zoned light industrial. The building expansion is just, just over 11,000 square feet in size. The overall um, parking design would include 145 parking spaces, so seven of those are handicapped. They're gonna modify both the uh, building parking lot area as well as there we go. The, the guard shack area as well will be also modified to allow easier access for um, vehicles to come in and out of the building area. Again, as I mentioned, um, the access point off Wisman Winds Road, and they're gonna also modify the landscaping to meet current landscape requirements. 
The, exist, the architectural design for this expansion will match the current um, building that is out there. as a combination of both concrete and metal panels uh, to make sure everything is uniform. Uh, the proposed height of the expansion is, is about 85 feet. Although the, zero, the zone only allows building heights of 60 feet, uh, there was a special use permit that was previously granted for this site and most of the sites around it. So this would fall under the special use permit granted at that time, hence the 85 foot proposal. As you can see by the future land use is classified as an employment center and this zone this parcel falls underneath the employment center with surrounding land uses. So we find that it's consistent with um, the, the existing surrounding land uses as well as the 2040 plan. And finally, uh, for the consideration staff does recommend approval of this major site plan of 2020-03-SP. That concludes my staff report. Welcome any questions that the planning board may have. Thank you. Uh, any questions for staff? And, and the applicant is here to answer any questions and present as needed. Thank you. Uh, if there are no questions of staff, we'll go ahead and call on the applicant. My name is Dan Simmons. I'm a McGill Associates. We are doing the site design for this project as well as others for, uh, for Griffles. This, I don't know if you know what the PLC building is. The PLC building is the building in which the blood plasma is stored in that comes into the building. It's stored at minus 35 degrees centigrade. Uh, the building we're adding will be storing additional blood plasma. When, when this thing is completed, it will be storing $1.2 billion worth of blood plasma. Also, as part of this, we're making some modifications to the site uh, to make it easier for the trucks to get in and out and around the, the existing facility. And we're also relocating the entire entrance to the north plant and modifying it and, and preparing it for the future. Because they did purchase some additional land many years ago, or at least two years ago. So we were trying to prepare this entrance way to handle the traffic that will be going over there also. And I'll be glad to answer any question you might have. Thank you for that. Any questions for the applicant? Thank you, sir. Uh, are there any questions or comments from anyone in the audience? If not, I will turn it over to the board for consideration. I would like to say I've just been really excited watching this come through the process, seeing the continued growth out there, um, very important to our town. So thank you. Madam Chairman, I had the opportunity to tour the campus and hear a presentation on their uh, production uh, last week, and it's outstanding. Everything's being done really, really well. On that note, would you like to make a motion? I'll move it. We approve as presented. <laughs> and is there a second? Second. Second by board member Powers. Uh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Motion passes. Thank you. Uh, next order of business, item 5C on the agenda, 2020-10-RZ. 2900 NC Highway 42 rezoning, and we will hear from staff. Let's get in it. Oh, Haley. Might need a little help here. Sorry. Can you get me? That's fine. Good evening, I'm Sharon Sharp. I'm the new member of the team in the planning department and uh, it's a pleasure to be here this evening. I will be presenting to you the application 2020-10 rezoning for 2900 NC Highway 42. Um, this rezoning request is for a total of 4.72 acres of land along NC Highway 42, just at the intersection of 42 and Government Road, as you can see on the map. 
Um, the applicant is requesting to rezone the property from RE, which is residential estate, to highway business B3. As you can see from the current zoning, um, this would be the, the um, location and the parcels that we're talking about. Currently, there are three structures on the, um, the three parcels. And as you can see, based on the map, the bulk of this rezoning fronts along NSA Highway 42. Currently, these are a list of the existing uses allowed in the RE zoning district. And you'll see here you have a range from single family uh, all the way down to nursery. In the B3 zoning, you have more intensive commercial uses such as convenience stores, restaurants, and daycare facilities. This is a view along NC Highway 42 as you're headed west. Um, just a quarter mile away from the in U.S. Highway 70, um, you'll see the intersection, you'll see uh, the parcels and also the properties that front along. Um, just to give you a better reference, across the street you have a church and a glass commercial business out there. It is consistent with the 2040 comp, comp plan. As you can see, the node that is recommended is for um, high density residential to help assist um, those persons that would be looking for commercial businesses as well as townhomes and things of that nature. As I stated, it is consistent with the comp plan, therefore staff recommends this rezoning. The applicant, McAdams, is here if you should have any additional questions. Thank you. Any questions of staff? If not, we'll call upon the applicant. Hi, I'm Jesse Hardesty. I'm a planner with McAdams. Um, Sharon did a great job presenting the case. Um, it's fairly straightforward. The only thing that I would reiterate is that rezoning to B3 would be um, more compatible with the future land use map um, than our RE is. Uh, it falls under the community, I'm sorry, it falls under um, the community center overlayer um, where RE does not fall under the community center overlay. Um, the only thing that I'll add is that we did have a neighborhood meeting. We only had one neighbor in attendance. It was the bordering property owner to the south. Um, he seemed in support of the rezoning. The only question that he had uh, was about the use of the site. And um, we let him know that our client just wants to move forward with the rezoning first. This, uh, the use has not been decided on yet, um, but it'll be a commercial use permitted under B3. Excellent, thank you. Uh, any questions for the um, applicant? Yes, sir. I am. I am. I'm not familiar with the final plans for the uh, widening of 42, but the preliminary plans had would had an improvement of that uh, alignment of that of uh, government road coming into 42. I assume that will be taken into consideration as you move forward with the development? Yeah, once the use and site plan begins, um, once that goes un, um, in underway, that'll be taken in, into consideration. Thank you. Any other questions of the applicant? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, any comments or questions from the audience? If not, I will turn it over to the board for their consideration. Any comments from the board? If not, I will entertain a motion. So moved. <laughs> Second, was that by you, Mr. Powers? All right. Um, if there are no other comments, all those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Say no. Motion passes. The last item on the agenda here, number six, is informal discussion and public comment. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak at this time? If not, I will entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Motion. Uh, let's see, a motion by board member Coates and a second by Powers? Sure. Okay, or who said it, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, if there are no other comments, all those in favor say aye. Uh, Opposed say no. 
meeting adjourned.